It's that time of the year where we try to get inspirations on how to better decorate our home. Thank you so much for joining my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to go into the Hudson House in order to gather ideas and different perspectives on how to decorate our home. This will be especially good for those thinking about renovations. So let's come on in. I really love the, um, the floor vinyl in this home. It's so nice and, and chic. Uh, it's different from the typical brown floors. And as you can see, when you enter into the home, there is a sitting area, which I think I would use as a sitting area for those for company that may not need to go all the way into the home, but just can't, is coming in order to do certain things like really quick visitors. To the right is the um, is the garage, and if you keep moving forward, you'll see that you enter into the living area where to the left is the kitchen, and look at those beautiful cabinets, great color um, that matches the flooring and other kind of like chic um, decorative themes in the home. And don't you just really, really love the carpet on the floor? I think I'm gonna incorporate that in my home as well in the breakfast nook. It's a great patio. Um, it's a little small, but I think it'll, it'll do. Now, you're gonna see that the same carpet that's in the breakfast nook is in the living area as well. Love the way they tied in the space here. And oh my goodness, did you see these lamps? Oh my goodness, the, the lamps are beautiful great accent pieces and the um, the way that they incorporated the lamps and the decor the wall decor excellent now if you're anything like me I love to open up every single door in a home and this one was just leading into um, the area where they keep um, a little bit of storage so not anything major here Moving forward to the step area, I actually enjoy the fact that there aren't any railings right there. It will help for those who have small kids, um, so that way they don't kind of maneuver themselves in between the rails. And my goodness, look at this bench where you can sit down when you come in from the garage and take off your shoes, your little mud area. I know there's a way that you can buy something like this from Ikea. I think I'm going to explore that as well. And it's just when you move forward, you go into the half bathroom. We are now upstairs in the loft area. What a great area for your kids to come and just play. Instead of messing up the downstairs area, they have their own room to just wow out in. <laughs> And as we move forward, you're going to see that I'm still trying to open up every single door that I see. <laughs> but we're going to first go into the master bedroom. Now, at first, I was a little displeased because I thought there was only one closet. I'm a small closet. But as you can see, there are two closets. Yes, perfect for me and my husband. Now I'm going a little bit fast here because I'm so excited to go to the bathroom. Um, the bathroom is where I spend majority of my time <laughs> trying to get myself looking flawless. And the bathroom, and I don't think I can get you guys to see it as closely or as clear. The, the shower actually has a seating area and it has two shower heads. Very nice and is very spacious. It's a little bit smaller than what I'm used to, but it still will get the job done. I was amazed when I saw this area. Oh my goodness, OMG, a laundry room. Now, I have a laundry room, but it's not really a room, it's in the hallway. So this would be a perfect area for you to be able to clean your clothes, fold them, and get them ready to be put away. The boys' room looks so cute. Yes, I don't know if you know this or not, but I do have two boys, and that blue looks so, so nice. I love the decor. I think I'm going to steal some of the decor um, ideas, or at least the wall decor ideas, to go into my oldest son's bedroom. And um, it's a small bedroom, but it's decorated very nicely. 
can we say we saved the best for last? Look how cute this girl's bedroom is. And guess what? It has a bigger closet. Of course, girls need more closet space because we have more shoes and more cool stuff to wear. <laughs> but it's it's not the typical pink girl's room. It, the purple is so adorable. I'm thinking about my goddaughter as I'm looking into this room. Hi, Kay, if you're looking and listening. And finally, the last bedroom. I mean, actually, bathroom, excuse me. I miss a typical bathroom, but I love the accent pieces. I, I actually in, would really enjoy the shower um, or tub, if you can say, that has the, the shelves inside of the tub. I think that's just adorable. And they also have updated um, things in there. Thank you so much for looking, and I hope this was enjoyable for you. If you like,